بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از محمد شعیب ٹوڈے ان دس ٹوٹوریل ویڈیو وی ول لرن ہاؤ وی کین کنفیگر دا یوزر ایڈمٹ کنٹرول اینڈ آلسو ول سی ہاؤ وی کین چینج دا رن ٹائم پاسورڈ سو لیٹ سی ان پریکٹیکلی ہاؤ وی کین کنفیگر سو وی آر ریڈی دس ڈیویل پروجیکٹ وی آر ریڈی ڈیویلپ ان آور پریویس ٹوٹوریل سو and also in the previous tutorial we add some user administrator accounts so here you can see we create this three users in our previous tutorial and I will close it and I will open the graphic designer and we already develop a user admin page here so from here we'll select the WinCC user admin control select and just we'll put it here and here title I want I'm not interested to put the title Let's apply and ok and we'll readjust it that's it and we'll save it and we will run our project so our project is uh, running now we'll come here in the user admin page so uh, the first step will log in with any account suppose I will log in in the administrator account so once you log in the all uh, accounts will appear here so so we'll select for example this engineer user and now uh, we'll come here in edit so from here you can change anything like which group you are interested if you want to change the password you can change the password you can update the password and similar manner we can also uh, after how much uh, time duration it should automatically log out so absolute time like whenever the operator login after specific for if I will put it the 10 minutes so it will automatically after login 10 minutes it will log out and idle time if the uh, operator is not using the SCADA system and after 10 minutes it will log out so here uh, from if you select any of the uh, uh, user and from here edit you can uh, change the password without uh, without the uh, no, uh, if you don't know the old password you can update any user account pal. either you can change it from here or you can change it from the user administrator I will open it suppose one of my user so I want to change the password select the user and after that come here in the general area and select the password and from here we can change the password even we don't know about the our previous password we can put it here new password this two method we can use to change the password and if you will select this option to change the password for the current user you must should enter the old password and new password okay for example the I will log out right now and I will log in with the engineer user engineer one I will, I will log in through here so you can see the password why I'm going to engineer so as uh, you can see this is uh, my password 
and I enter it. So now I want to change the password of this current user. So I can change it from here. Here I will put the old password. Okay, as you can see, I put the old password and new password. I will enter it. So press ok so your password has been changed successfully so if I will log out now so here you can see in the user issue no any user log and if I log in again so here you can see I enter the new password so as you can see, I'm successfully able to change the password and after that I insert the new password. So from here you can also explore some more options like you can add a new user. Also if you want to add, so you can add the user and here you can also uh, check the authorization level for any of the user. For example, this user we select these levels and here you can update you can change anything you can also change anything so alhamdulillah we learn in this tutorial how we can configure a user admin control in and we also learn how we can change the existing user uh, password in runtime and the uh, uh, next tutorial video we will also learn this user admin we want only like admin or administrator or engineer should log in on that uh, case only this user admin option should be appear here in the main our overview screen so so we'll see next video how we can configure it Thanks for watching.